Hi everybody, it's Matt Cutts. Uh, we are now recording two days worth of Webmaster videos so we can answer as many as possible. Some that are really meaty so we need a whiteboard and some that are a little quicker. So we're just knocking a bunch out and let's go and look at one. We have a question from Flo in Spain who asks, what role does being in DMOZ play in rankings? I see some websites in my niche ranked number one and the only reason is because they are in DMOZ as their content is at best poor. <laughs> Getting into DMOZ is impossible nowadays, so why does Google still use it? Okay, so one thing before we even get into the topic of DMOZ is um, it's hard to tell sometimes why a site is ranking. Um, historically, Google has the link colon operator, which returns the backlinks or some subsample of backlinks to people, but we don't show every single backlink that we know of in response to link colon because we show that more on the Webmaster Tool side. So you can see your own backlinks, but we don't give a full uh, list of all the backlinks to the people who would compete with you. And I think that that's a pretty good balance overall. So just because if you do link colon, you might see a link from DMOZ and as a result think that's why it's ranking. It could be that there are other links, high quality links that you aren't seeing that are coming from you know, CNN, New York Times, or something like that. So don't just automatically infer from looking at the backlinks that you have either from Google or from Yahoo or even a third party tool that that's really all the links or all the links that Google trusts or anything like that. But let's get into DMOZ just a little bit. So uh, DMOZ, also known as the Open Directory Project, has been overall really, really great in terms of being a really good resource for people, but it is starting to show its age a little bit. And so there's two or three sort of updates I can give you on, on how Google thinks about DMOZ and how it treats the Open Directory Project. Um, there was a version of the Open Directory that Google had so the, like the Google Open Directory or something like that, which would take Open Directory data and add value by sorting the stuff by page rank. And um, not as many people were using that. So even though it was one of the very first things we introduced other than straight web search, I think recently we took steps to sort of turn that off. Now, it might still remain in a few properties. For example, in some uh, Asian countries, it's a little slower to type, and so it might be faster to browse through a directory. So we don't promise we've turned that off everywhere. Um, but we have turned it off for a lot of different uh, Google properties. The other thing that Google sometimes uses DMOZ for is computing snippets. So for example, if you block your page out with robots.txt, we're not able to crawl that page. So we might see the anchor text or the anchors, the backlinks that point to a page, but we can't actually crawl that page and see what it's about. So we don't know the title of the page or anything like that. And in those kinds of situations, it can be helpful at times to rely on DMOS because if it's a well-known page, then an editor of uh, the Open Directory project might have said, this is what the page is. So that could be a useful snippet. Um, at the same time, we always try to go back every so often and test our assumptions. And so it is the case that um, we've been doing a test where we say, what if we turn off using DMOZ for snippets? And it's a little early to say whether, uh, whether that will break one way or the other, but it's the sort of thing that we do go back and test and see whether it still makes sense compared to the assumptions and the ways that things worked you know, several years ago. Okay, so the last thing to know about DMOZ is that it's not the case that there's some special boost or some kind of reward for being in DMOZ. Um, a link from DMOZ is worth the same as a link from anywhere else. It's just the open directory tends to have a little bit higher page rank. And so as a result, a link from DMOZ might carry a little more page rank, but if you get a link from a very highly reputable source, you know, you can get a newspaper reporter, uh, convince them that it's an important story and get them to write about you, that can easily carry just as much or more page rank than getting a link in the open directory project. So it used to be the case that people would have a checklist of the links that they really wanted to get. And it's not that there's something special or different about the open directory project. It was, you know, it's, it's it's a very well-known directory, but it's not a requirement. It's not the sort of thing where you have to get a link from DMOZ. So if your competitor happens to have a link from the Open Directory project and you don't, I wouldn't sweat about it. I wouldn't get overly stressed. I would think, okay, what can I do that will make sure that my site is so compelling that people want to link to it and I can get those links from other sources? Hope that helps, and it's just a little snapshot about how we're thinking about DMOZ and the Open Directory project these days. Thank mm -hmm. you.